So hi everybody. Um, I might as well show you my little orchid before I get uh, distracted and then forget to do it. Look at this adorable little thing. Uh, yeah, once again, do you see the lighting isn't very good? But is it's just a tiny little thing in its pot and oh, the cookies are done. Hi, Van. Um, gorgeous little purpley orchid. Um, it says to put it, not to put it in bright sunlight, but um, it's supposed to be in in bright light. So I have it in the living room and make sure that it's not the sun. I hope I don't kill it. It says very little water. I'm reading this, Canada, by Richard Ford. It's about It's about a family with a, uh, with twins, 15-year-old twins, mother and father, and the father retires after 20 years in the Army, I guess Air Force, in the United States, and after, scheme after scheme later, he decides with his what he decides to talk his wife into robbing a bank, and of course they get caught. And I'm halfway through, and well, the writing's not bad, it's repetitive, and I'm finding it a bit tedious. But I will persevere. Um, this is uh, my latest dishcloth from the book that Beth sent. And I was happy the way it turned out. I like that over and under um, look. It's uh, it's nice. I was halfway through my second one of these in a purpley color. And as I said, halfway through. And I had to rip it all out because I made a mistake. And I tried to rip out a line or a row. And I have a very difficult time in keeping track of where I am after that and I couldn't get the stitches back on so I just ripped it all out. So that was a few hours of work just for nothing. Um, this, you remember the baby blanket that I showed you out of this stuff. This is what was left over. I had a whole ball left over. This is all I could make and my goal was to make a little soft pillow do you think that that would be big enough for a little soft pillow? I don't have anything left though to sew it closed. So I don't know. I guess I could use thread. Maybe floss. Maybe I could use yellow floss. But that's to go with the baby blanket. Do I need to buy another ball and make it bigger? I don't know. Also, in 1976-ish, I was given um, a whole ream of art paper, big sheets, big sheets of paper like that, uh, high-end art quality, like Archer's, if any of you know what an Archer's piece of paper is, um, but half that size of a full-size piece of Archer's paper. And it's been downstairs and I've kept it all these years. I've used the odd little piece. I used to use it for calligraphy. That was my prime use for it. And um, I've been playing with photography a little bit. So is Pat. And sometimes I don't like the high gloss photos. So I thought, well, I wonder what would happen if I printed on this on um, this is this is a white this is the back of what I'm going to show you so it's it's a heavy heavy duty but it's got tooth to it it's got a texture to it and I wanted to get a softer look a more maybe not antiquey but sort of a softer look um, to a printed um, picture and so there's I'm turning them because dead on it makes it dark 
but if I turn it towards my window to get light, um, there's what that looks like. This is from a stone garden in Ottawa, and here is the bigger one. And again, it's it's heavy duty paper, not high gloss at all. It's not photography paper whatsoever. It's just paper that I've cut down. And the cookies again. Um, that I've cut down to fit into my printer. And this one in black and white. What do you think? Um, I had a couple more, but I used them as postcards. Fancy that. Uh, I spent the afternoon with Claire and Tiffany and I will attach a picture of my great-granddaughter at the end of these remarks, just so you can see an updated picture of her. Um, it was lovely. She is two months old now and uh, slept most of the time that I was there, which allowed Tiffany and myself to have a nice visit. She slept on me, which was lovely. I was holding her pretty much the whole time. And then at the end, she woke up and we got some some pictures and she's started to smile and laugh. So that's it's very nice. It's uh, kind of exciting. And I will close on something that Philosophibes asked me to do. And she has two things that she would like me to say. This is for Phoebe. Say with enthusiasm, say with enthusiasm, show me the trajectory, show me the tour, the, show me the trajectory, show me the, tra show me the trajectory. I'm trying to read my note and wonder what I'm going to say next. Show me the trajectory. Can you do it? That's it, that's all. Picture of Claire to come.